Hey, this is Judge and Waits bringing you part two to my solo guide for the latest Black Ops 2 zombies map called Origins. In part one, we built the fire staff, we got Juggernaut, turned on all six generators, took care of the Panzer zombie boss, whatever you want to call him. Uh, we built the riot shield and did some other stuff. So this is where we're picking up in part two. We got those night guys and they actually came and turned off one of our generators. So I'm going to turn that one back on. Normally, you do not want to try and turn on a generator. Oh, and I got to be careful here. Let me quit talking for a second. There we go. But normally you do not want to turn on a generator at the start of a round when there are a bunch of zombies. But this is early on. We're only at round 10 and I have a ray gun. So I was pretty confident that I could handle that. But if you want to play it safe, don't do that. So like I said, we are at round 10. As you can see on the left, I have uh, Quick Revive, Juggernog, and uh, Mule Kick. So I used Mule Kick to pick up my staff because I'm running a Gleal and the Ray Gun. The box was pretty nice to me early on. I still don't have monkeys though, so that's one thing that I want to work on getting. I also want to work on getting uh, Quick Reload or Speed Cola. So this is where Speed Cola is. Of course, it's by Generator 3. So let's get this staff out. Yep, I'm reloaded. And I'm trying to see how many zombies. Oh, we still have a good amount of them. All right, better switch to my ray gun. Don't want to get caught here. Now, this place is pretty nice, this bridge area. I don't know if you know this, but if you start the round on the bridge or there in front of me, kind of by the generator, you will not get zombies that come up from behind you. So you can actually stand on that bridge. Now you want to be careful in later rounds because they will push you back and then you'll get stepped on by the giant robot, which uh, I was going to get speed cola, but I better wait because here he comes right now. But you have to be careful. Obviously you do not want to get stepped on and it's a lot better to run where I showed you in the first part by Juggernaut. So I definitely recommend hanging out and that area but early on that's a pretty good place if you're the type of person that likes to sit still all right so we've got speed cola i've got the four perks that i want and i'm going to head back up to the juggernaut area because i only have 350 points i don't really have anything else that i really need to do i set myself up really well in part one like i said make sure you watch that so you know what in the world is going on now, I don't know if I mentioned it in this video, but my goal is to get to round 30. So, you know, I'm thinking about this in kind of groups of 10 rounds, like the first 10 rounds for the first video, the second 10 rounds for the second video, and hopefully the third uh, set of 10 rounds for the next video. But right now I'm thinking about what I need to get done. This is round 10. Round 11 should be pretty uneventful. I want to bank as much money as I can because just in case if I go down, I want to have enough to get Juggernog and quick revive definitely so i need at least 3000 points in the bank so that's what i'm going to worry about in round 11 round 12 i should get a panzer in that round so i want to be aware of that and make sure that i have the right weapons or i have ammo in my weapons to face that panzer and the zombies so we'll kind of talk about that at the end of this round so right now i'm just kind of concentrating on uh, getting the money but that's what you need to do when you're playing zombies always think ahead don't go into that next round too fast. You know, set yourself up as best as you can. And because I have that um, challenge already done, which you can see that little symbol over my quick revive, you know, that tells me I can hit the challenge box and get a special prize for that or a special reward. Usually the first time you do that, you get a max ammo. So if I get in trouble ammo wise, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so just doing the circle run here. This is where I like to do it. It works for me. If it doesn't work for you, you know, figure out what area does work for you. This one just seems to work well, though. Uh, you do have to be aware of the robots and constantly watching for them. Remember, there are little red lights that will light up when the zombie's about to, and I think I just got something dropped right there, so I want to go back and get that. But there are little red lights that kind of light up when the robot is going to step in that area. And also, too, like I said in the first video, just make sure you listen to your character's voice all right so oh yeah insta kill so i'm going to use this to take advantage and just knock these guys down um, one thing that i failed to mention when those night zombies and i'm sorry i don't know the correct name for those guys um, one thing i failed to mention is if you get a bomb it would actually kill those guys and um, that's an effective way you know as you get further on don't worry about actually stopping those guys just worry about trying to get a bomb and letting that stop them and then you can go turn on all the generators you know it's not that big of a deal all right so round 12 i'm thinking panzer i'm in good shape ammo wise i wish i had monkeys but we'll have to do it with just this luckily i do have a ray gun and the staff 
and there he is I hear him so let's get through here now you can just keep running your circle and then every once in a while just turn back and shoot don't spend a lot of time turning back though and shooting because sometimes zombies will spawn on the other side but I'm gonna run over to this other side and try to get him to funnel into these tighter areas which you have to be careful of but there he is let's try and shoot him all right so you hit him once you know you always kind of stun him one time and then you got to take him down again so I'm gonna go through this area once again always be watching for robots there they are they're getting close there's the panzer guy let's knock him down come on there we go all right I think he just shot his little claw out all right so I'm gonna get back into my one area actually oh I didn't take him down shoot I thought I stopped him okay well there he goes now he's down uh, what do you drop a double points um, that's not a big deal I just can't go into my one area oh man uh, I couldn't run back towards Juggernaut because of that robot's foot, so I'm going to run back this way and stay. I almost uh, got myself into trouble right there. Let's see. All right. I could shoot these guys around this box and start uh, filling up this box right here on my left, but I'm going to play it safe and just kind of move back into the Juggernaut area. And let's see. What do I need to do next? Um, I've got 5,000 points. That's not a really big cushion. I want to start thinking about hitting the box though uh, because in this next set of 10 rounds I really want to get a light machine gun. That's really important to me. Either that or I want to pack a punch this Gleal up sometime. It's it's pretty effective right now so I don't have to worry about that right now. We're only at round 12 but towards the later rounds I definitely want to start thinking about that. So I'll probably get through round 12, just try and rack up as many points. I'll probably go through round 13 because nothing should happen in round 13 as far as panzers or knights. And then at the end of round 13, that's when I'll probably hit the box. I don't want to spend all my money on the box, but we'll try to get, like I said, monkeys and a light machine gun. Or I might just pack a punch this Galil because it is a pretty good weapon, especially early on, you know, definitely into the early 20s. This gun is going to be awesome. All right, so let me just mow these guys down, see if there's any more spawning. You obviously don't want people spawning behind you while you're shooting at these guys. Nope, that looks like it's it. So we'll just kill these guys. All right, there is round 12 down and on to round 13, which should be a pretty boring round. Be healed, zombie spawn. <laughs> I love how when you shoot a crawler with the staff, he actually stands up. All right, so still go. Oh, oh, they're a little closer than I thought they were. Let me shoot these guys down. I want to get down to a manageable amount and then go hit the box. So I got a drop there. Let's go see what that bad boy is. Uh, yeah, let's cut through here. I'm always leery cutting through that place. It's actually not too bad because there's no mud there. And you can really get around the generators. But uh, what is that? Zombie blood? All right. That'll work. I can focus on getting these guys some headshots and stuff. I'm aiming a little bit low there, I guess. Oh, I am running this thing dry. All right, I'm out of my Galil. So definitely want to hit the box. Let's see, I don't want to hit too many of those guys. I don't see any more spawning in. I usually get like to get them down to two or three, but I might as well just leave that group right there. All right, so let's go head to the box. Now, I don't know if you guys are thinking what... Oh, hey, there's a staff part. I must have dug that up and not even realized I did that. All right, so let's grab that. What am I at? Blue wise. I, okay, just need one more part for the blue staff. Remember the blue staffs you get from digging up, the yellow staffs you get from the giant robots getting inside all three of those. And what do we got? Uh, the purple staff that you get from the tank ride, which I'm not going to show you that. If you want to see that, let me know and I'll make another video showing you where all the jumps are along that tank. But let's head to pack or not pack a punch. Let's head to the mystery box. I think I've only hit that box like twice. All right, there it is still there. And of course, you know what it's going to do to me. It's going to give me all garbage guns since it gave me a ray gun early on. I know it's not going to give me uh, monkeys. And I'm actually just saying that, trying to pull some reverse psychology. Nope. All right, MP40. All right. I hate waiting. I wish you could just like push Y if you didn't want the gun. and <laughs> It would cycle it a lot faster. But just do your little run here and hit the box every once in a while. That's what you have to do with the runners. You could make them into crawl. Oh, I saw I saw monkeys. Nope, nope. Thompson, that thing's about worthless. That thing is weak sauce to the max. 
Let's see what it gives me next. Come on, drop down. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't know. I thought I saw monkeys, I think. All right, let's hit this again. Oh, I, said, I think I was talking about making these guys crawlers. You could do that, but in case the box moves, you want to be able to... Oh, come on. You Seriously? Uh, in case the box moves, you want to have runners so that you can take them with you. Because obviously, if you leave crawlers, they're just going to die and the round's going to start. And you're not going to be able to hit the box, probably. All right, so let's see. Come on. Don't give me the chai -com or War Machine. No chai -com, no War Machine. Uh, Scorpion. Nope, don't want that. I'm only trading up because I really don't need this Galil right now. I don't need to get the ammo back in it. If I really wanted to, I could just go use my um, little bonus thing. Oh, there, I got another one of them. Okay, so the second one, I think I've told you this. The first one, see how I got the little symbol over Juggernaut? Was that the Chai Com? <laughs> yeah, it figures. Uh, but I got my second little symbol. Usually the second symbol or the second time you hit the challenge box and get your reward, you usually get a perk and I see double tap a lot. So that's a pretty good that's a pretty good perk to have when you're playing solo. All right, so I'm getting kind of low on money. I might hit it one more time. Sniper. <laughs> awesome. DSR baby. I want to pack up a sniper rifle and see what that bad boy does. Anybody do that? Let me know what it does in the comments section. All right, so I've got enough to... Ah, oh, teddy bear figures. All right, so that's what I was talking about. Let's go find out where it goes to. I'm going to run back to no man's land and kind of wait there to see where it pops up. All right, so the box should be in this back area where we started. There is one of the places that you can redeem your rewards and get the max ammo and everything like that. All right, let's see what it gives me. Now I got a decision to make here. Do I pack a punch? Do oh monkeys! All right, that is awesome. Yes. All right. All right. So I got a decision here. Do I pack a punch my gleal or do I save my cash just in case I go down and need to rebuy uh, Juggernog and quick revive? Now, the smart thing would be to definitely save my cash and just get through the round, but I can kind of feel you guys wanting me to go pack a punch. So, you know, I'm one to give you guys what you want to see. So, I'm going to go pack a punch. I do have monkeys. So, if I didn't have monkeys, I probably wouldn't do that. And I'd just wait. I might hit the box a couple more times and then just leave myself 3,000 points. But since I have monkeys and since you guys want me to, I'm going to go pack a punch. Plus, when I first made my very first video on this map, uh, I only got to round 12 and I didn't get to pack a punch. So I'm going to definitely get that done in this video and show you that. All right, so there is the pack a punch machine. That thing is pretty awesome looking. Man, I love the box on this map too. That is awesome. I love the way, oh, I love the way these guys look. Oh, did I just run myself into a corner? I might as well just kill these guys. All right, and get back to my area. But I love the way the guns look or the camo looks on your guns when you pack a punch. They pretty much just like glow in the dark. All right, and I'm not sure what that little symbol was and my reticle looked like an A or something like that, but we'll check that out here in a minute. All right, so let's get back into it. Round 14, I might get some funny stuff going on. Maybe nothing will come. Uh, I don't think usually somebody comes like a Panzer or anything at round 14, so this is probably going to be an uneventful round. All right, so this should be close to the end of round 14. Let me just mow these guys down. And all right, got a few left here. Um, round 15, sometimes you get something, sometimes you don't. We'll see what happens. All right, just trying to get my headshots because I think that's the last challenge I need. And man, I'm still filling up that box. All right, all right there's round 15. All right, still filling up that box. I think you need 100. I could totally be wrong about the amount of zombies that you need to get in there and fill it up. Um, I have waited. Oh, hey, we got some night guys coming in, but I've waited too long uh, to start worrying about filling up those zombies. I normally do that early on, but let me just stop these guys. Luckily, they spawned at Generator 4. That's usually where I see them spawn first, but the first time I think they went to 2. Obviously, that's random, but that was kind of uh, nice having them... Oh, better be careful here. That was kind of nice having them spawn here. I'm probably going to get in trouble going for this max ammo. I should have thrown some monkeys. Anytime you see a max ammo, just throw some monkeys and then get the max ammo because you're going to get all those monkeys right back. Probably should start using the staff a little bit more. 
But I like the Lamentation. That's a great name for a weapon. Oh, I got a drop there. I wonder what that was. Let me head over here because I think I got a drop over here. Yeah, zombie blood. All right, so let me take advantage of this and just shoot these guys. Oh, fire sale. I don't know about you, but every time there is a fire sale, it seems like the box gives you really nice weapons like ray guns and light machine guns. So I should probably hit that, but I want to take advantage of this and just mow down as many of these guys as I can. There's a bomb. Oh, and I got my uh, final achievement or final bonus reward thing. As you can see, that little symbol above um, mule kick. All right, so. So, uh, let's see, I've got uh, probably nearing the end of round 6, round, or round 16. Round 16, I'm probably going to get a Panzer. I haven't gotten one in a while, so I want to be careful with that. I wish that bomb would have been here a little bit longer, but oh well. It's nice when you get that bomb early on in a round because I don't like get, getting bombs in early rounds, but later rounds, I'm a big fan of getting bombs. All right, so oh, and there is a zon or there is a big robot that's going to cause me some problems. I'm not going to be able to run into the place where I usually want to do. Oh, but there's no zombies over here, so I should be okay. All right. Oh crap! I forgot they spawn out there. Oh, there's a Maxim. Oh, Panzer, Panzer, Panzer. Let me throw a monkey out. That way I can concentrate on taking him down. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, did you see him shoot his thing at me? All right, so. Probably should use the Lamentation. I better run. Oh, I got too close to him. Oh, okay, good. Oh, no, no, no. no. Come on, come on. Don't hit me. No, you got to be kidding me. Daggone it. I threw that monkey out. Oh, why did I throw the monkey out? I just got myself into trouble. That was dumb. All right, well, that's good. At least you can see. All right, oh, man. Please, please don't hit me. Don't hit me. All right, so got monkeys out. I'm going to go. That's why I love having monkeys. You can go hit Juggernog. Of course, I lost all my perks and everything. That stinks, but I should be in good shape. Daggone it. Daggone it. I did not want to go down this early. I was hoping I'd get at least into round 20 before I lost my first quick revive. Oh, well. Let me see what I can do here. Just want to get through the end of this round and try to get a couple runners coming at me. And then I can go, oh, and I lost my staff. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. You know, I lost my staff because that was my third weapon. But it's just going to respawn down at that bottom area. So that will be good to show you that. All right, so I'm back to my ray gun and lamentation or pack-a-punch Galil. Uh, I want to be careful here and not do something stupid. All right. Let me just try and finish some of these guys off. They're still spawning in. Now, right now, I'm thinking about points and what I can afford to buy back this round. Uh, of course, I want to get Quick Revive. That's a priority. Uh, probably, I don't know if Quick Reload is really a priority. I like having that, but I think I'd rather have Mule Kick and then get my staff back. So, um, a zombie or a robot's coming this way. So, I'm just going to head this way. I'll probably kill some around, kill some of these zombies around this box and start filling that one up just in case I get done with that. All right, so let me shoot some of these guys. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, though. I don't want to kill them all because I definitely want to keep some. All right, first priority after getting Juggernog, of course, is to get Quick Revive, so I definitely pick up that perk. Uh, I'm thinking about testing something out. This isn't the best time to do this, but hey, what the heck, let's do this. I'm going to hit this reward box. Like I said, there's one here and one at the church because I want to see something. I want to see what it's going to give me first because I don't have any monkeys, and I really want to get monkeys, uh, but it gave me the Pack-a-Punch gun, which I don't really need. Now, I want to see what happens if I left that go back in the box. And if I hit it again, will it go to the next reward? Because, like I said, I'm really looking for that max ammo. Uh, let's see what happens. See what it gives me. You guys probably already know this. Um, I don't really need to hit the box or anything like that. Let's see. Nope. Pack punch gun again. I wonder what happens if I go over to the church side and hit that box. If you don't know where that box is, it's just back here by the generator. So let me hit that. Let's see what it gives me. Up, oh, Galil. Yep. All right. So I guess there's no change in that. Uh, at least I'll get a little bit extra of ammo. That's really wasn't the smartest thing to do. All right. So what I want to do next, um, I want to go get a staff. I want to go get my staff back. So I'm going to need to go pick up Mule Kick. Head in, head in, head in. Come on. Maybe I should pick up stamina so I can run faster. Stamina is actually a pretty good perk to have when you're playing solo. But I'm going to run down here. 
and pick up my staff, get Mule Kick first. Uh, let's see, I gotta remember where Mule Kick is. It's down here, and then I go right instead of going left. All right, there we go. I'm gonna head down here and pick this up, and then I'll go get my staff. All right, so your staff respawns right there. I could get all the staffs built and then just kind of cycle through them if they run down on ammo. That's probably a pretty smart strategy. You might think about that as I'm getting higher up. I guess the only other thing I really need to do is go get quick reload or speed cola. All right, so let's get speed cola, and then I'm probably going to hit that rewards box again because I do not have monkeys, and I really want to get that max ammo. That way I'll just be safe. And I could also get another perk now since I have all four perks. Normally you can't buy another perk after you get four. But if you get it from that little box, you can actually have a fifth perk. So let's head on over there and see what it gives me. What do you think it's going to be, the max ammo or the perk? Let's see. I'm thinking it's going to be reverse order, so I bet it's going to give me the perk. Oh, max ammo. I was wrong. You guys were right. All right, so got my monkeys back. Um, maybe I won't even bother hitting that per. Eh, maybe I will. Might as well hit it. Usually gives me double tap, which really helps me in mowing down zombies with, like, the Gleal or, like I said, with a light machine gun or something like that. So, all right, here we go. And now we got our five perks. We are well set up. I'm just going to head back and get this round started and try to bust through these rounds. Oh, and let's see if it gives me a new reticle. Nope. Still that A. I thought since maybe I traded in the Gleal or got a new one that it would give me a new reticle, but I am stuck with that one. All right. Whoa, this should be about the end of round 18. Let me get this reloaded. All right, so we're going into 19. I'll probably stop this video at, at the end of round 19. Oh, I want to be careful. Here comes a guy. Let me just mow these guys down, and we'll be good to go because the robots will be out of the way for round 19. All right, so assuming I get through this, I'm probably going to jinx myself, but assuming I get through this, probably um, I'll stop the video right at the start of round 20, and then um, in, in the third part of this video, I definitely need to get a light machine gun. What else do I need to do? I could probably upgrade my staff, but this thing is just kicking butt so far, so I probably don't need to do that until probably mid to late round 20 when you upgrade the staff i don't know if you've ever done it but it's really cool because you can actually hold down the trigger and you'll you'll charge it up and then it'll shoot out and like uh, these lava streams will start erupting out of the ground wherever you shoot it and it just totally destroys the zombie so it's pretty cool but like i said right now it is doing the job very well watch this and i don't have to worry about it and there we go all right so i just need to get through this see where they're spawning in uh, if you get any questions or comments uh, make sure you leave them for me make sure you watch part one make sure you look out for part three maybe there'll be a part four actually no i'm just gonna kill myself at round 30 because um, i've already been playing this thing <laughs> long enough and by the time i get to round 30 if i get to round 30 it's gonna be uh, pretty late here all right so i uh, probably could have shot those guys right there let's nail them i like to shoot like four times and then turn around and run and especially, you know, turn around with your ray gun, your whatever, whatever your oh crap gun is that you can run with. Uh, I tell you what, I used to get that four shot shotgun. That thing pack punched will just blast a hole into whatever you're trying to run through. So that's a pretty good gun. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, you know, but maybe early on pack a punched. It's not bad if you can't seem to get a ray gun. Oh, there's a bomb. Dang it, that would have helped me out. I need to start looking better when I start shooting these guys because you don't see anything like right there. All right, oh, want to be careful of this guy. All right. Come on. Um, and that four-round shotgun, I'm talking about the one that with the barrel that kind of twists like, and then you shoot like four rounds, rapid fire, and then it twists, you know, that whatever that gun that is. All right, so there, I still got a good amount. Let me reload this, and hey, max ammo. All right, cool, cool, cool. Man, I'm in great shape going into round 20. I've only gone down once. I uh, probably need to get to that max ammo pretty quick. I've only gone down once, and uh, I've got all good guns. The only thing I don't have is, like I said, that light machine gun. But other than that, I'm looking good. Probably could build the Maxis drone now. But I'll probably end up forgetting about that. Ah, I thought I was closer. All right, let's get through this. 
But if you got any questions or comments about these zombie videos, if you want me to cut out some stuff or cut more stuff, or if you want to see everything, I would really appreciate some feedback on that. So let me know what you think about that. If you do like this, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. But is that it? Nope. Oh, I think there's a crawler left. Let me see what's spawning in or anything like that. Now, I don't need to do this, but I'm just going to go over here and pack a punch my ray gun. Um, I've got a lot of ammo in it. Normally, I would never do this, but I am just playing it super safe. And normally, I like to run and pack a punch this bad boy when it actually gets lower in ammo. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, I'm good to go with ammo. I guess I don't need to do that. Uh, let's just do it. What the heck? That way, I'll be starting round 20 with some awesome stuff and set up really well. Now, I know you professional zombie players are going to be like, uh, dislike, 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 you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, just keep in mind, I'm just kind of doing some things that I probably wouldn't do just for the sake of this video. But if I were you, you know, normally I'd just wait to do that until you needed the ammo. It's still a good weapon at this round and still going to drop the zombies and do what you need it to do. But uh, what the heck, like I said, I'm just going to do that. All right, so let me find this zombie, get on to round 20, end this video, and then start on part three. Yeah, might as well dig that up. I think I still need that final blue part. All right, but here we go. Starting round 20, like I said, um, probably they're going to get a Panzer or the Knight guys coming in, attacking my generators. But uh, this is where I'm going to end it. If you made it to the end of this video, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out part three. Yep, sure enough, there they go attacking it. As always, though, take care and God bless.